Hey, hello guys, I'm, I'm making this video about the 3D software that you can use to check uh, your PCBs, uh, your artwork, just to make sure everything is correct. Uh, right now, I'm going to open a one file that I, that I made yesterday. Uh, I was cleaning my computer. My computer has a lot of crap, so I had to uh, delete a lot of stuff that I have, or older uh, projects and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, let's, I'm going to show you the... the uh, don't mind about that sound. Uh, here's the the PCB. I think I forgot to update it. This is not a file. So that's a good thing about this uh, software that you can actually uh, check for mistakes on the PCB. So right now, uh, the good thing about it is that you can confirm that all the soldable area of, of the pads from the circuit and you can see uh, the color of the soldable area is sort of like silver I try to uh, change the color to silver I have to basically um, let me see I think I remember that. color presence let me see a color picker I had to choose a color so okay this look a lot better like this so it's a lot easy to see the Okay. There you go. That looks a lot better with the uh, uh, blue background, so you can see the the 3D. So everything looks uh, fine here, no problem. So okay, on on Spring Layout 6, just to explain you better. All right, on the oh yeah, I think I had to do something different here. Okay, I'm going to change the colors. Okay, colors. C2, I will choose, a, I think green. I will choose green uh, as the bottom copper. The red is the C1 a, a copper top of the, the circuit. And then the via, I'm going to change the via to a uh, silver light color, sort of like silver. There you go. Uh, the background, let's change the background to a gray color. No, 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 it should not be gray. It should, should, should be a different color just to... Oh, okay, let's try something different here. So let me see. I'm going to try this color to see. No, I don't like it. It's too dark. A lighter color, but not that. Let me try something different. Let, let's try blue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try blue, but light blue. Uh, there you go. Mm, no. Yeah, the problem is the buyer. The buyer, I wanted to make it like a. Let me see. I'm thinking. Okay, let me see. Should I use green for the background? I think. Should I use green? Let me see. No, I'm sorry. This is not, it's not the. That's the buyer. Sorry about that, guys. So, is the background should be dark green? Mm, close enough. Close enough. Uh, yeah, let me see. I'm going to do something different. Darker green, and then the seal screen. I will change it to white. There you go. Sort of like uh, imitate the color of the. And then the C1. I'm going to choose a darker or lighter color. Just to okay. Now it looks a lot better. Okay, so it's kind of like transparent. Let me see, uh, C2, I'm going to choose a different color. All right, let's see. Just try to imitate. Uh, there you go, so, something like this. This a lot, look a lot better. So you can see the darker green is the top copper uh, area of the PCB, and the light green is the bottom of PCB. So it's going to look like this. It's something like this, as you can see, this is the bottom. Of the PCB so I'm going to show you how to basically uh, create the files so you can export those files into this software as Z O F Z PCB so you can look at your work uh, artwork to make sure everything is correct and uh, the good thing about this software that if you want to uh, verify the connections of the this is a simple connection this does not have many uh, complicated uh, uh, traces 
or longer traces so it's, it's pretty simple the only thing you gotta press a letter N on your keyboard uh, it will illustrate um, it will show you where is that connection goes to you know as you can see it's highlighting here is all the the connections the, it goes to the fuse and then it will feed this lead of the relay and this is the output for the toroidal transformer and this is on another connection as you can see you can actually uh, turn it around to look uh, what is actually connected to what then just very fine very fine the connection so it's pretty this, this circuit is not that really complicated so it's but it's good it's a good thing to check to make sure uh, all the pads are uh, correctly placed on into the copper area of the PCB so right now I'm going to create a file a new file so you guys can see I'm going to close this out and uh, I, I do have other other uh, really uh, complicated files that I have here so let me see let me see the name of this we have Z okay I gotta check for this uh, that Z O let's check for that we got our other complicated oh I'm sorry sorry about that guys all right so it's dot Z O let's see honey badger we got the honey badger yes we do have the honey badger this is not the honey badger what the hell I think I I click oh okay I see what happened there you go all right so we had the honey badger this is a bit more complicated so um, I was lucky that on the I know I made a video in in Spanish uh, I already test the amplifier and luckily I was able to uh, correctly put it to work uh, it was working really nicely uh, on the on the other videos that I was I was saying something in Spanish that I blew up uh, the power transistor because I didn't I didn't have a correct a hixing so the only thing I use is just a piece of aluminum plate uh, that that is not enough to cool down the main power transistor so that's why I blow up those transistors the good thing about about the I mean it's not a good thing but is that I just use a, a save it, a save it a car audio that was broken uh, amplifier and I, I just took out the transistor they were good so I use it on the application so right now uh, this is uh, a more complicated circuit so this is a good thing to have this software so you can check uh, for continuity so as uh, you can see oh just to let you know guys this is not my design this is designed by Mr. O Stripper uh, Mr. Pete from DYI.com and I just made this uh, clone for my personal use only not for a uh, not for sale this is not for sale because they do have a uh, this amplifier a uh, PCB on DYI.com uh, so you can go to the storage store sorry about that uh, website store and you can purchase the, the PCBs uh, they do have better quality and this is just a one ounce of copper uh, I believe that they use they have two ounces of copper on the PCB so really nice quality PCB this is just for myself you know I make it I made it you know custom made for myself so so that, let's let's continue we're going to create a new files so you guys can see how to to check for that I'm just looking for beautiful ladies that was what that was I was doing that on my <laughs> before the video <laughs> yeah I know so let's create a new folder I call this one soft start sorry it's my computer I have to clean my computer it's frozen this thing is happening I, I think I had to do something with my computer I had I think I had to clean it up maybe I, 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 don't, I don't believe I have a virus it's something else every, every time I create a folder this happens it, it froze my computer I don't know why it's doing that so I gotta figure out what, what's going on there you go I ah, don't mind about that guys this this happened okay we got the let me see what happened here oh okay 
we we do have the Gerbers, but I, I need to I need to create the the folders again. So okay, okay, there you go. This is the folder. Sorry, let me rename it Gerbers. There you go, Gerbers. I, I just wanted to do it again so you guys can see how it's done. And she's pretty upset because that happened to me. All right, that's a beautiful woman right there. All right, let's go and create the the Gerber files. Export Gerber export, and then you will choose C1, C2, S1, outline C1, C2, uh, punch three holes, include frame board. More, really important. Do not forget to do that. And the name. Try not to make the name too long because uh, you're not gonna be able to see. Uh, uh, what file belongs to what you know you're not gonna be able to see the solder mass or, or outline or copper and then you're gonna choose the folder that I just create on the desktop Gerbers all right and then create the Gerbers you just press this button and that's it that's all you gotta do it's not that complicated at all and then the all the last file that you gotta create is the drill data Exalion. There are other files, but I'm not. Sure. I have never used those files. It, it says isolation miling. I do not know how to use those files yet. The only file that I choose is drill data Exalion. Uh, sorry if I cannot pronounce that correctly, but anyway. And then I just type here drilling. Drilling. There you go. Press OK or Enter, whatever. Oh, uh, if Mr. Terry is seeing this video, I I would. Thank you, Mr. Terry, to share this file or soft start circuit for toroidal transformer. I, I will use this file for, for sure because I have plans to buy me a uh, purchase a 600 BA uh, toroidal transformer. And I have I have plans to do that. So right now I'm going to open the software and I'm going to wait. I don't like the window sounds. I just what the hell is going on here? I don't like those sounds. Let me put this sale. Uh, I don't like that. Let me see. Okay, Windows, Default, Sonata, no sounds. I don't like Windows sounds. Okay, there you go. Uh, right now, I'm going to open those files that I, that I just created a few a few minutes ago. A uh, compose new, manual, and then you will select the desktop. Here's the folder where I place all the Gerbers. Something happened. The program crashed. What the fuck? Okay, I gotta help those guys. Don't worry about that, guys. Gmail, okay, Gmail. This thing happened, guys. No, no, nothing is okay. Let me see. Install, use, start using Gerber Exalion Read. Yeah, this one here. I was uh, opening. I was opening Gerber files. Exporting. I think export is. Opening, exporting, export, ex export. Files, then crash. Even crash. Yeah, it's okay. Crash. All right. That's it. I'm gonna send that to you, that, those guys. I need to help them out so they can message sent to bug the database. Thank you. All right, guys. This is the shit happen. You know, nothing is perfect in life, guys. Okay, let's one more time. Compose new, manual. Let's try one more time. Gerber, there you go. Drilling. Let's place the drilling here. Soft start copper. A copper top. The outline. A silk screen. Solder mask bottom and solder mask top. And then here, this is really important. This window. Uh, you're going to. Uh, I say the best way to say it. You gotta identify the file because uh, when you export the file here, all is copper. Right now, if you uh, click on one of these files, it will say copper. So you gotta identify the file. Right now, this one says silk screen. You will go here and change that to silk screen, and you will move the file up. So the first file should be the silk screen. And solder mask, you gotta identify this file, and then you will uh, select solder mask. Right? And this one, this is another. This is another solder mask. It says copper, and then you gotta change it to solder mask. The outline is really important. 
uh, you will change this to border board outline sorry about that board outline and then here what i do i just press um i just i just place a 850 to give it some thickness of for the pcb right now we we, we got it almost completed and uh we got and we gotta uh, move the solder mask top it's okay it's under under seal screen and then the solder mask bottom should be under the copper bottom so we got the first file is seal screen the second one is solder mask top because it's a, it's a double layer pcb the second that uh, sorry about that the third file is copper top uh don't mind about this one here the the other file is copper bottom and then solder mask bottom and the last file is outline and then it's ready to uh press ok read and render so it's ready to there is a little mistake here don't mind about this don't, don't mind about this this little mistake so that's is the complete uh 3d model of the pcb you can look around analyze it make, making sure everything is correct uh making sure the the solder mass is is not that it's, it's not covering too much the the soldable area of the of the pcb so you can actually also you can peel it you can peel the uh, the project and look at the at the copper area you can see you can peel many times you, you can see here you can also make it transparent so you can look at your work area this is a really simple circle it's not that really complicated but this this might be really helpful for a really uh more elaborated pcbs that have many many traces and you want to make sure that all are correct so right now um it, well with the letter n on the keyboard you can just press and make sure to make sure if the traces are uh, connected the where it, they they belong so so you can check to make sure uh the connections and you can see just press the end and select the traces the copper traces uh and it will show you what is connected to what something like that so now now we that we have done that so the good thing about this software that you can actually save the file so in one example if you are in a, a uh, electronic forum or something like that you can actually create a, a file so you can share with your friends to to be to to share ideas so right now i'm going to create a file render board save as and then you will place it well, you can place it on your USB driver. I'm gonna place this one in my USB driver, and then say as, and then sounds funny. All right, a uh, soft start. Yeah, you are going to call this one tweak it 2016, and then press OK. So that file is saved, and you can share that file with your buddies. She's really upset with me. Take it easy, girl. All right. Uh, right now, the file is the file is saved into my in my USB driver. Tweak it. There you go. This is the file. Uh, so start tweak it, and just just click there, and you can see the the project, the PCB. And you can look around, making sure everything is correct. I mean, this is a simple circuit. It's not that really uh, complicated circuit. So, but it's a good thing. To see uh, how the PCB is gonna look like in sort of like a, in real time, so you can look around. Oh my God, looking really nice. Uh, there is a little. I'm thinking about this little problem that I have here, because I don't want the the standoff the copper. Ah, yeah, I can use a plastic one. I don't want. Don't mind about that. I can use a standoff plastic ones. So for this uh, uh, P, this PCB is not that really big. It's like um, let me see. This one is 91 millimeters by 62 millimeters. I will say um, centimeters is 9.1 and 6.2. That, that's a really small uh, PCB. Uh, all right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to make a video so you know how to do it, how to export the files into the this software. That is totally free. You you can uh, let me show you the website. It's right here. So this is the website where you can download the, the file. I mean the yeah the program is uh, ZOS. Uh, sorry about that. ZOVS. 
<laughs> cannot pronounce Zov Z B C V. <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce it. Sorry about that guys. It's a pretty it's, it's free and the good the cool thing about it is that there is one video they they are using my video as an example. That is pretty cool. This is my name, Juan Vargas videos. If I click here, it will uh show hey, hello guys i'm going to show you how to create those uh, my own <laughs> my own channel all right guys that's it um, i hope you, this is helpful for you guys uh, for those that are creating pcbs maybe for uh, uh you know car controls uh, planes and stuff like that you can use it for many things all right guys have a good day i hope this is helpful